Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2022 for its multiplayer, I gotta say this. This was another average, okay multiplayer for Call of Duty. I totally am in disagreement with Angry Joe that this is one of the better Call of Duty games. And this is one of the better video games of the year. Because the fact is, first off, everybody named Jaleese. I bought this game and I waited, man, I mean, I waited a couple months after the launch just so I could see what happens and just so I could see if there's a lag, if I hear good reviews. Some people said it's good. To me, it's just average. Is it good compared to Vanguard? Yes, it's a masterpiece compared to Vanguard. The thing is, though, I won't say I love this game. This was just okay. The thing is, though, if this entire game did not have Ground War, I would not even be playing this game. The storyline, the story, I made a separate video about it. I thought it was just okay. Uh, Battle Royale is the only thing that is constantly being updated and constantly being fixed around. And overall, it's a fun time. It's Battle Royale, obviously. But Ground War, I did not expect Ground War in this game to be as much fun as it was. Ground War is a saving grace to this game. This is just... It is Battlefield. It's basically Battlefield if it ran correctly. And for the most part, the entire uh, ground war runs correctly. You get tanks, you get helicopters, you get vehicles to use. You got objectives to protect uh, A, B, C, D. You got to protect either one of your outposts. And I enjoyed this entire ground war. Ground war was a good experience. It was a great experience. But the problem is, though, there's still some issues with ground war. Yes, you could say the enemies could snipe you. The snipers are still around. They're going to be guarding the entrance. They're going to spy, kill you when you spawn. Or they'll be at the area, at the borderline uh, of your home headquarters. And they could snipe you from there. There's some uh, there's certain things where tanks, so you could just be like, what the heck? It's like, it's like frustrating in a, a sense when you have like tanks just like when you're inside a tank. When you immediately get out, you're immediately killed off. It is just ridiculous in some cases, but overall, I would say Ground War was the most fun thing about it. But there is no prop hunt, there's no gun game, there is no sticks and stones, there. there's nothing truly original other than Ground War and really fun about this entire video game for its multiplayer. Because the fact is, Team Deathmatch is just, a, I only play Team Deathmatch, I play a little bit Search and Destroy, I played the other modes, but some of them like Headquarters, Domination, just felt uh, too much the same. Uh, then there was like Search and Rescue, except you you could revive your teammates and all that stuff, and you still gotta defend the bomb, plant the bomb, and there's some fun with this entire video game, but the problem is though, I, I know other YouTubers have said it. I'm going to say it again. Skill-based matchmaking has killed Call of Duty. I mean, you could go from 30, uh, 30 kills or 20 kills. You can have one good solid game where you go truly positive, where you truly had fun and dominate the entire scene. And then you have ones where you just go negative 15 because you get spawn death like four times and you could barely run. The maps are terrible. They have to have one of the classic maps, the shipment map. They have to have an old Call of Duty map from 2019. The maps are too big, too freaking huge. They are better off as ground war maps. And it's just overall. To me, it's uh, not... I won't say it's a... Uh, it, it is disappointing, but then again, it's not because I didn't expect much. I'm disappointed because the fact that so many people gave so many good reviews. But then again... You have Vanguard as your, like, top priority. Like, Vanguard was the number one that was take going over against you. And it's just like, I mean, Vanguard was a past game. And then you get this one. And this one is clearly better than Vanguard. Vanguard, I give, like, a C-. minus. This, I'm going to give it, like, a C+. Plus. It's definitely better. But to me, not so much overall. Multiplayer, again, the skill-based matchmaking is killer. Some of the uh, claim wars don't work. You know how many times I get killed by I see the enemy first, I shoot them, they flinch, and they kill me? Or the classic one where, you know, like, they like to jump up, and, like, you shoot them, but they'll just jump in the air for a second, and they'll just kill you. There's a lot of things frustrating with Call of Duty in general. And st still, to this day, all the stuff that I hated in Call of Duty is still within this Call of Duty thing. The only thing I can honestly say, Ground War was the funnest thing, and that's the only thing that's close related to Battlefield. And I say, for the most part, this game works well. I don't get too much lag. I don't get too much uh, 
I don't get too much, you know, stuff that is just disconnects or anything like that. Or I get blue screens like I got with Vanguard. But for this game, it runs well. But running well is not the standard point for me. Like, oh, it ran well. It ain't Battlefield 2042 that was utterly trash when you bought it. I'm sorry. I expect better. I expect fun for my Call of Duty games. I expect something enjoyment. Why not bring back Infected from Call of Duty Ghost? I enjoyed Infected. That was nice. That was good. That was different. I know they're going to include zombies. I mean, I was looking, hey, how about we get Extinction back? Or maybe Exo Survival. Get a different wave of enemies coming after you. Survive different uh, rounds. See how long you could go. I thought that was unique. That was good. You could have took so many other inspirations for other past Call of Duty games. And you just didn't do anything. Bring back Prop Hunt. Bring back Sticks and Stone. Bring back Gun Game. Bring shorter maps and you, you will have a good time. But the thing is, though, there's a difference between the old Call of Duty players and the new ones. The new ones have these big freaking maps where it's just campers, snipers, delight. And then you got the old Call of Duty fans where we had Nuketown and, and Yemen and so many other ones where you're just going around and you could just run around and shoot and you could be in the hunt within the first uh, 10 seconds. And this one, you got to walk like a good 30 seconds to get to the next uh, uh, side of the damn map. And then, boom, maybe you get, get a kill. And then, boom, they'll kill you. Then you have to restart again. It's, to me, to me, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2022 for its multiplayer. It's just lacking. It's just not as fun. I, I'm i touching it. I'm playing it. I'm trying my hardest to, uh, hey, let me enjoy it. It's better than Vanguard. It's better than WWE 2. But to me, it's not better than Cold War or Modern Warfare 2019. And that's not saying much. I thought Cold War and Modern Warfare 2019 were just like B minus. This is a C plus. This is an average okay time. Maybe it'll get better on. Maybe I'll give it a B minus. But overall, right now, Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 2020, uh, 2022 was just an okay experience for me. What is your personal opinion, everybody? Do you want the old Call of Duties back? Do you want skill based matchmaking gone? Do you want the old game modes like Prop Hunt, Sticks and Stones, Gun Game? Do you want to have fun again? What's your personal opinion, everybody? Name's Jaleesa. After everybody, bye bye.